Hello, I'm Kath and this is Made by Kath Craft. Thank you very much for joining me for this video, which is the latest instalment in my Me Made May video series. So if you've been watching along, you'll know that through May, I've been filming every day and I've been popping on and sharing what I'm wearing from handmade wardrobe. And I've been talking all about the patterns and fabrics and how I feel about each garment. So we're up to Monday the 27th of May now, so on the home straight, and this is part six. And I think it's going to be my final video as part of this series. So thank you very much if you've joined me for all or any of the videos. It's been a lot of fun um, popping on every day and having a think about what I've been wearing. And if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know I'm trying to reach for garments I don't wear that often. Um, so yeah, it's been interesting getting different things out and have a think about how I really feel about them. And if they're things I want to wear more, how I could style them to make me feel comfortable or alter them maybe. Um, so yes, uh, it's been a lot of fun and thank you for joining me and welcome to part six. So if you've been watching my previous instalments, you'll know that I finished part five on Friday and it's now Monday. So I've actually missed two days of filming because we had quite a busy weekend with one thing or another. And I wanted to be able to pop on and focus fully and I didn't think I'd be able to do it very easily this weekend. So I'm back now and I'm gonna talk about what I'm wearing today and then I'll catch up on Saturday and Sunday too. So today it's a bank holiday here um, in England and so my husband's at home, they're all in the garden at the moment, my husband and the kids, so I thought now is a good moment to pop on here and catch up on what I'm wearing. And we've had a bit of a relaxed day at home, today is sort of mid-afternoon at the moment and I wanted to wear something that was comfy for staying at home but also I wanted to stick to trying to choose something that I don't wear that often. So I decided to go for a handmade top and a handmade pair of trousers I'll talk about the top first. Um, this top I made using this pattern here, a five move pattern called the Tanita top pattern. Let's get it out and show you the line drawings. So this is the Tanita top pattern. I think you can make it in woven or stretch fabrics. The version I'm wearing is a woven fabric. And it's this sort of cropped top that's a little bit oversized um, with quite a wide neckline. Um, and then you can just, you just put it on your head, there's no zips or fastenings. And then it's got these elasticated cuffs and elasticated bottom as well to kind of pull it in. So it's quite a lot of fabric and it's got sort of grown on sleeves. Um, but it's sort of pulled in at the sort of elbow and um, the high waist, I guess, because it's quite a cropped little top. And I made my version in this lovely fabric, Godmother fabric. It's a cotton lawn fabric. It's called their Joni fabric, and I know they have it in a couple of different fabric bases, at least. Definitely a viscose as well as a lawn. Um, and it comes in a few colours too. And it's just such a lovely print, I think, with this really dramatic sort of floral stripe across it. So it's like a large stripe and then smaller stripes. And the colourway I'm, I'm wearing is, I think it's called, is it ivory or cream? It's like a light sort of off-white colour. And I just think it's such a pretty print. And I love how the Tanita top really showcases the print because you have it kind of all the way across because you just cut a front and back for this pattern. So I made this top, I think it would be last year, and it was inspired by Lauren from Guthrie Garney. She'd made quite a similar one. And I originally made it just like the pattern with the elastic on the cuffs and the um, waist, but I wasn't really wearing it. And when I did wear it, I found the elastic around the waist was just bugging me because it would always ride up and it felt like it was just sitting too high really. So I think uh, earlier this year, or maybe late last year, I altered this top and I took the elastic around the waist out um, and I lengthened it as much as possible. Um, I've got actually now the bottom's actually got bias binding around the edge because I wanted to sort of maximise the length um, and so minimise the amount I included in the hem. So I used the bias binding just around the, the hem just to bring it down a little bit so it didn't feel too high and also so it didn't have that elastic that was riding up. So now it's more of a looser top. I'll stand up a bit so you can see. And I've just been wearing it tucked in um, to the front of my trousers. So I haven't reached for it that much just because I haven't worn it much since I've made that change. Um, I think I'd been a bit put off wearing it because was, I was feeling it uncomfortable in it. That it was uncomfortably short and just not that comfy to wear. So I thought I'm going to get out today and wear it and actually hopefully I'll enjoy it. And actually I've been really enjoying wearing it. It's really nice and comfy now. I feel now I've got the elastic out. I like the elastic around the sleeves. I know I was wearing a sagebrush top earlier in the month where um, I felt the elastic around the sleeves was a bit tight so every time I lifted my arm up it was sort of sticking and I was having to sort of pull the sleeves down 
But I think the elastic around these sleeves is just right, so I'm not finding that they are sort of riding up and having to tug them down. Nice and comfy. Um, and it's just lovely and loose, and I love the print in it. It feels quite nice and summery, and it feels like a bit of a special print just to be wearing around the house, I guess. But I thought I just need to get starting wearing it really and enjoying it. And I'm definitely glad I made that change. I think it's one I'm going to definitely be getting out more from now on. And I've teamed it with a pair of trousers that is one that, that I think I've got into the habit of just thinking of them as holiday trousers. So I don't ever get them out, except when I'm on holiday, which isn't that often. So they don't get worn that often. But I made these trousers using this pattern here. It is the trousers from the Saguaro set by Friday Pat & Co. So this is a woven set with this top with a deep V and this sort of grown on billowy sleeves and then elastic under the bust. And then the trousers that I've got on today are these ones, kind of wide leg trousers with elastic around the waist and they're kind of designed to sit, I think, on your natural waist. And they've got um, side seam pockets and you can add an optional waist tie too. And they're just a quite a nice relaxed summery set of trousers, I think. And wide leg trousers aren't usually my thing but I've got a couple of pairs now and I'm trying to wear them more often and I am enjoying wearing them even though it doesn't feel quite me yet um but I'll stand up a bit so you can see my saguaro trousers that I'm wearing today so it is in plain a plain black and um, viscose linen fabric that I got from Guthrie Garni I think it's one of the fabrics they stock as one of their staples and they have it in a few different colorways so I'll, so I'll link it down below it's a lovely fabric because it's lovely and soft and drapey um, but it's got a bit of texture from the linen and a bit more weight to it than like a viscose chalet so I think it works really really well for a pair of summery trousers and yeah I made these trousers I think towards the beginning of last summer wore them on holiday decided I made the elastic too tight so spent a bit of agonizing time unpicking the waistband and inserting some slightly looser elastics they now feel much more comfy and they've just been so comfy and nice to wear around the house today um perfect trouser for we were playing board games on the floor earlier and i was able to kind of sit down on the floor nice and comfy compared to a pair of skinny jeans um see so yeah, i've been really enjoying wearing them actually and i think i guess maybe i was i really liked them so i didn't really want to wear them too much in case they wore out but actually if they did wear out i'd easily be able to recreate them in another black viscose linen so i figured i should wear them more and enjoy them and not just treat them as a trouser i only take on holiday with me and wear for like one week of the year really um see so yeah, I'm glad to have them on today and I'll put a picture so you can see my full outfit it's been actually the perfect relaxed outfit for hanging around the house but I put feel quite sort of put together too so yeah I've been enjoying this one today and I'm glad I reached for both these items I think they look quite nice together especially with the top tucked in a little bit at the front because I quite like the feature of the sort of pulled in waistband of the um Sawaro pants so yes that is what I've got on today so now that I've talked all about what I'm wearing today, I'll catch up on what I was wearing over the weekend and I'll start off with Saturday. And on Saturday, we actually stayed away for the night and I knew we were going to have a really busy day on Saturday. We had quite a few things planned. So I wanted to wear something that would be nice and comfy and practical. And I actually went for a pattern repeat. So I went for a dress using a pattern that I also wore earlier in May. And this is the pattern here. It is the McCall's M7561 pattern. It's a really nice, quite a simple jersey dress pattern that comes with quite a lot of options built in. But I always make the scoop neck option and short sleeves and it's quite a fitted bodice and a gathered skirt. And it is a perfect, easy to wear day dress. So the version I wore on Saturday isn't actually a dress that's languishing in my wardrobe. I do actually wear it quite a lot. But I took it with me, I packed it because I knew it's one that's super comfy and be perfect for all the things we had planned on Saturday. I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like on. Um, this is a hotel mirror selfie, so not quite as good quality picture, but hopefully you can see it fine though, it's just a bit dark in the room. But yeah, I love this dress and I do wear it quite a lot. Um, I made it using this cotton jersey fabric that I got quite a long time ago. It's a really pretty light blue colour with lots of little ditzy white florals on it. And when I originally bought it, I bought enough to make my daughter a version two, so we twinned in them. But that's a long time ago now she's long since outgrown her dress but I still love wearing mine it's still going strong and I just wear, wore it um, on Saturday with trainers and with a pair of leggings underneath because it was quite chilly on Saturday morning I did end up taking the leggings off later in the day because it got quite warm um, 
But yeah, it was perfect for a busy day of activities, even though it sort of broke my rule of trying to wear things through May that I don't reach for that much. But I did really enjoy wearing it. Um, and it is a great pattern, this one. I do love it. So that is what I wore on Saturday. Then on Sunday, we were back home and I did wear something that I don't reach for quite as much. And it's a dress I made using a pattern from this book here. They make it simple book by Tilly and the Buttons. And it's a Tabitha t-shirt dress. So I'll pull up the line drawing so you can see. Um, I was wearing this version here. It's like a t-shirt dress and the t-shirt is a little bit fitted around the shoulders and slightly fitted around the bust, but then has quite a straight fit down from there. So it's not um, as sort of figure hugging, I'd say, as the t-shirt part of the McCall's dress. Um, and then you make this sort of skirt, that you kind of, you, you self-draft the skirt, they tell you how to do it, um, which isn't such a wide gathered skirt. It's just, um, it's at the top, it's the same width as a t-shirt, and then you kind of make a, ch last, a channel, at the t and then you pull a drawstring through the channel to sort of tie it in at the waist. I hope I explained that okay. And it's got quite a sort of straight pencil fit rather than coming out into a sort of wider, sort of swishier skirt. It's a jersey pattern, did I say that? It's a jersey pattern, so it's got a sort of round neckline with a neckband. Um, and it's just quite a nice, again, quite a nice, comfy, easy to wear dress. Um, I'll put up pictures so you can see the version I was wearing yesterday. Another cotton jersey fabric. I remember when I bought this fabric, I really loved it and I wasn't sure what to make, whether to go for pyjamas or a dress. And I ended up making this dress. Um, yeah, I just thought it was quite fun. It reminded me of 101 Dalmatians with the white and the black spots. Um, but yes, the reason I don't reach for this dress so much is the tab of the t-shirt I find is just not a great fit on me. Um, I feel like with the more recent patterns that Tilly and the Buttons have released, their bodice block doesn't fit me so well as some of the older patterns. For example, the Freya top from the earlier stretch book. It just sits just right on my shoulders, just the, the sort of seam sits right down the middle of the shoulder. I just feel the whole thing just feels like it just fits me well. But the tab that just doesn't seem to fit me quite right. Um, I know with this dress, it was my second tab of the t-shirt dress I made and I did alter it quite a lot. I did a forward shoulder adjustment. Um, I can't remember whether I changed the, uh, the arm ski, arms, I never can say that word, the arms, arms, the, the armhole basically. I can't remember whether I changed that um, slightly as well. Um, but I haven't nailed the fit yet on it. And I feel the neckband is maybe a little bit too tight or sits a bit high. There's something about it. It just, yeah, it doesn't quite fit exactly right. Um, but saying that, when I do wear this dress, it is just such an easy to wear dress um, for being around the house because it's jersey and it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just a really easy to wear t-shirt type dress. It feels very casual and relaxed for being around the house. Um, I quite enjoyed adding on the little black tie to make a feature of the pull-in waist. And I do like that feature. I don't know whether also I prefer a slightly more gathered skirt that's a bit more fuller, um, a bit like this pattern here rather than the more straight pencil style skirt of the Tabitha. It's just maybe doesn't feel like quite so much my style. But actually my mum came around yesterday and she really complimented the dress. She said it looked like such a useful dress and she thought it was really nice. Um, so it's nice to get a compliment on it when I wasn't feeling too sure on it. So I think it's one of those dresses um, I will keep, but it's one I'll probably just get out for days at home. It's not one I'd maybe so much wear out of the house. A bit like, it's a bit like a loungewear dress, I guess. And <laughs> that's what it is. And I don't think I'd make the Tabitha, Tabitha t-shirt as a plain t-shirt. I think there are other t-shirt patterns I prefer that seem to fit me better. Um, but yeah, um, it, it's just a, it's still a really comfy dress. I guess it's just not my favourite. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is what I was wearing on Sunday. So I have a few thoughts about that one, um, but it won't stop me wearing it in the future. But um, yeah, <laughs> that is what I was wearing over the weekend. So that pretty much brings me up to date. So I think I will finish off here because otherwise this last video is going to turn to a very, very long video indeed. Um, and I'll see you again back here for Tuesday. It is half term here this week, so the children are off school all week. So I'm going to try and squeeze in videos around them being, um, you know, when they're having a quiet moment. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to pop on each day and I'm still going to be trying to reach for things that I don't wear that often. And I'll try and include a bit of footage of us out and about this week too as we go along um, through the video. So watch out for that as well. But yes, anyway... I'll see you again tomorrow for Tuesday. Bye. Hello, it's Tuesday here now and it's early evening here at the moment. It's about 6 p.m. And I'm on a little bit later today just because we've had a really, really busy day today with one thing or another. It doesn't really feel like we've stopped still at all until now. And at the moment, my children are having a relax 
in the other room at the end of the busy day. So I thought now would be a good time to pop in here and share what I've been wearing today. And today I've got on quite a relaxed casual outfit. I'm wearing a pair of handmade jogging bottoms and handmade sweatshirts. And actually when I put this outfit on this morning, I did think or kind of think I'd probably change out of it at some point during the day, but I just haven't had the chance of one all day. And actually it's been really comfy and perfect for the sort of gray, rainy weather we've had today here. So I'll share the outfit. I'll talk about the joggers first. And actually the joggers I'm wearing today are ones I've worn quite a few times before. I made them using my favorite jogging bottoms pattern, which is this one, the Hudson Pants by True Bias. I love this pattern. It's definitely my go-to joggers pattern. I've got quite a few pairs. Um, I find it really comfy, but I also find, I really like the style of it too. I like the sort of slim leg and the quite um, slightly oversized ankle cuff as well. And the little tie and the pockets. I love everything about the Hudson pants really. And the version I'm wearing today, actually the fabric matches with this top. It's a kind of this pretty sort of I don't know if it's royal blue fabric, maybe a couple of shades darker than a royal blue. I'll stand up a bit so you can see the joggers. And as you can see, I added on a white tie, just to kind of brighten them up a little bit, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've worn them quite a lot, but the sweatshirt that I've got with them that matches them, I haven't worn as much. So I made this sweatshirt using this pattern here, the Mile End Sweatshirt by Closet Core. So I really like this pattern as well, but mostly I've made version A of the pattern, which is more of a Classic standard sweatshirt with a round neck, although it does have some interesting features, this pattern that appear, I think, on each of the versions. But the version I'm wearing today, you can probably see, it's got this sort of crossover um, neckline and a little kangaroo pouch, and it's got a hood too, which is quite a large hood, too, actually, it's quite a big hood, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and that is view um, C of the pattern here. So it still has some of the features I like. I like the little back yoke. It's got these cool sleeve darts as well. You can see here, hopefully. Um, which, yeah, I think it's a really nice feature of the sleeve. Um, but I originally made a sort of matching set of Hudson pants and Marlin sweatshirt of UA, like a cropped version, as a kind of, um, yeah, just a matching loungewear set. I thought it might be quite nice for travelling in or just wearing around the house or whatever. And I found I had just enough of the fabric left over to try view C. Um, which I wasn't sure would suit me, the V-neck and the kangaroo pouch. And I don't always, I don't, I'm not always keen on the hood. Um, and I gave it a go and I didn't really like this sweatshirt when I first made it. Um, I'll stand up a bit so you can see it. I think I originally tried it on with a, a sort of more of a crew neck t-shirt underneath. And I felt there was too much t-shirt. It didn't quite go with the sweatshirt. And I put the sweatshirt back in the drawer. And then I got it out again more recently and I thought I'll try it one more time and I'll try it with a scoop neck t-shirt and actually I quite liked it with the scoop neck t-shirts and so I, I thought I'd get it out again today and do the same and I've really enjoyed wearing it actually and I quite like um, wearing a bit of a different sweatshirt and actually although it's quite a grey overcast day today it hasn't been cold it's been one of those muggy days it's felt fairly warm so not having a sweatshirt coming up right around my neck has actually been quite nice maybe a little bit more cooling and it's got a lovely relaxed fit. It's a little bit cropped, so it sits just above my um, where the Hudson pants finish. So I think they go together quite nicely. I'll put a picture up um, so you can see what it looks like on. I've had the sleeves sort of pulled up a little bit for most of the day. And yeah, I've really enjoyed wearing it, actually. So I think I'm a convert to view C. And I can see myself making another one at some point. Um, I have made a couple of view A and lengthen them. And I do think that makes for quite a nice cosy view A sweatshirt. I think, I'm not sure how lengthening view C would work. So I think I'll, if I make another version, I'll do cropped again or not cropped. It's per the pattern, but the pattern is does come up a bit cropped, at least on me. So yeah, it's been nice to wear this one today. Actually, I'm glad I've got it out and it has been really comfy. And I think because the set matches um, and I like the colour, it felt like a nice outfit to go out in and didn't feel too much like a stay at home outfit. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got on today. The fabric is a sort of lightweight French terry sort of fabric. So yeah, lighter weight sort of sweatshirting type fabric, um, a loopback French terry. I got this from Minerva. I can't remember the colour of it. it. Might have been called marine. Um, I'm, I think I remember thinking it didn't really sound like a marine because I think of marine as being a bit more of a greeny blue. Um, I'll double check though and I'll link the fabric and I'll mention, um, I'll link the fabric and name the colour down below. I think it's quite a nice pretty blue. It's not too bright but it's a bit more exciting I guess than like a navy tracksuit set I feel. Um, so yeah, I've enjoyed having it on today. Um, so my plans now are actually, I need to go and change because I'm heading out to meet a few friends um, at the pub this evening, 
which will be really nice. Um, it's been a bit busy, so I've been dashing around. And I don't actually know what I'm going to wear out to the pub. I'm going to go and change now and just find something that isn't a tracksuit set. Um, so if I do wear something handmade, I'll make sure to take a photograph and I'll share um, what it is tomorrow. And I will again try to pick something that I don't reach for that often. But yeah, I've, I'm a bit, bit short of time, so we'll see how we go. And um, yeah, I might end up just choosing an old favourite in the end, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so yes, I'll finish off here and I'll catch you again tomorrow for an update on what I wore this evening and more on what I'm wearing tomorrow. So yes, see you again tomorrow for Wednesday. Bye! Wednesday here now and it's early evening here at the moment. It's actually about six o'clock just like yesterday. That seems to be quite a good time this week for me to pop in here and catch up with you guys. Um, my husband has just taken a bit of a break from work so he's just come down. I think he needs to carry on with a bit later but while he's having a bit of a break with the children I thought it'd be a good time for me to come in here and share what I've been wearing today and what I wore to the pub yesterday because I did wear something handmade and also to catch up on our day today. So today it's been a really lovely warm sunny day here actually so much nicer weather than yesterday and it's been dry all day as well and we were due to go and meet a couple of friends and their children at a local country park. It would have been perfect weather for it and it would have been really lovely to catch up we were all looking forward to it but we set out in the car this morning and we weren't too far from home when the car started to misbehave. So our car is pretty old now, but it's always been very reliable. So it was a bit of a surprise, um, but luckily we weren't too far from home and I decided it didn't feel very safe to drive it. I thought it'd be much safer to come back home and luckily yeah, we weren't too far. So we came back home and the car's now sitting in the drive and it needs to be going to a garage and get checked over to see whether it's fixable or whether we need to look into getting a new car. We'll have to see. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a shame actually, but we ended up having a really nice day at home. As I said, it was lovely weather, so we were able to spend quite a lot of the day in the garden. And one of my son's friends came over, um, so he really enjoyed that. Um, so we made the best of it. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a shame about the car and to have missed our friends too. And um, yeah, so we'll see what happens on the car front. But anyway, um, that's what happened today. Um, I'll talk about what I wore to the pub first, and then I'll share what I'm wearing today. So. I was in a bit of a rush last night, as you'll have seen. I went upstairs, I pulled on a pair of jeans because it was getting a bit chilly in the evening and I knew I wanted to walk to the pub. I thought I'd get some steps and get some fresh air. I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of my walk there. So I decided to get on a pair of jeans and a handmade top and I decided to wear this top here. I actually washed it today. It was perfect weather for washing and drying. So I thought I'd put a load on since we were um, sort of staying at home. Um, so it's this top here and I made this using this pattern here, the Agnes top pattern by Tilly and the Buttons, which is one of my favourite jersey top patterns for kind of quite a fitted, yeah, close fitting jersey top. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's got a good size range now. It's been extended um, about a year or two ago to cover UK six up to 34. And I just like to make this simple scoop neck version. Um, and as you can see, the version I was wearing last night, I made in short sleeves. And I made this t-shirt a while back now but I haven't really worn it a lot and I think the main reason I haven't worn it a lot is I made this out of scraps I had left over from another make. I originally used this fabric to make a Kyello wrap dress by Named Clothing which I really like and I like getting out on an evening if I'm going out for a meal because I think this fabric with a bit of sparkle and feels like a bit of an evening fabric. But yeah when I was trying going through my phase of trying to use up some of my leftover fabric remnants in my fabric suitcase. Um, I came across this one, I thought I'd have just enough to squeeze a t-shirt out and I thought it'd make a nice t-shirt. So I sewed this Agnes tee up. And that's one of the reasons why it has short sleeves. I think I only had just enough fabric for short sleeves. And I think because I made it out of a fabric remnant, 
it fell into that category which I think I often find with second makes out of fabrics where I don't tend to wear it as much as the original make which is a shame really because actually I think this is quite a nice t-shirt so I thought since I was going to the pub I'd take the opportunity of getting it out and I just paired it with some grey jeans I took a grey card again with me um so yeah, a bit of a grey theme um and actually yeah, it was really comfy and I think just the fact that it's got a bit of a glitter or sparkle to it makes it feel like a bit more of an evening top it's a bit sort of nicer to wear to the pub than just like a plain t-shirt I guess um but I didn't want to dress up but I thought it was kind of casual but a bit smarter um so yeah anyway th th that's a picture of what I was wearing um it's just a nice comfy t-shirt and I was glad to get it out and I think it's fine to wear as a casual t-shirt in the day as well so I think I'm just going to try and reach for it a little bit more and not think of it as kind of the second make after my curl, curl wrap dress it's really quite different to that so I don't think people would even notice or ever see me in both garments and think why has she got two garments made out of the same fabric um so yeah it was nice to get it out that is what I wore last night to the pub um so I'm glad I did wear something that I don't reach for often and try to kind of keep in with that that sort of that what I'm trying to do in me made me even though I wasn't a bit of a mad dash to get to the pub um but yeah so yeah, that's what I wore last night and then today I've actually got on a handmade t-shirt and a pair of handmade shorts I had actually originally got dressed today and put this t-shirt on with some jeans but then it became clear it was going to be hotter than I expected so I changed to a pair of handmade shorts which I don't wear very often as well so it was quite nice to get the extra bonus item that I'm wearing that I don't get out that often so I'll talk about the t-shirt first I made this t-shirt using another of my favorite um, jersey top patterns but as you can see this is not such a close fitting um, top this is a bit more of an oversized boxy t-shirt and I made it using this pattern here which is the paper cut um, solar sweater and tee pattern I've got the old pattern the name has been changed since um, but yes it's a kind of boxy um, fit sweatshirt or t-shirt with a dropped shoulder simple round neck very straight fit um, and you can make a version with these little frills built into the sort of seam here where the shoulder meets the sleeve um, which I love as well but I also just love the t-shirt very simple as it is um, and I'm wearing this sort of non-frill version today um, I thought with this fabric the frill might just be one detail too many because the fabric is yeah quite detailed I think um, this fabric is another cotton jersey, just like this one. I, don't think I said that was cotton jersey. Um, another cotton jersey, and I really like the prints on this one when I got it. I got it quite a while ago. I can't remember where it came from. I don't think it will still be in stock anymore, but I'll try and remember the fabric shop and link them down below. It's a smaller fabric shop online. Um, and it's got this lovely sort of dark charcoal grey background with these sort of watercolour flowers on in pinks and whites. Um, and I just really like the print on it. It's a bit different to what other things I have in my wardrobe, really, this sort of floral print and the colours. Um, and actually, funnily enough, this t-shirt is also a second make. I originally used this fabric to make also a solar tee, like a dress length one, which I use a lot in the summer as like a cover up. Um, and again, I had enough fabric left over to, to make this extra t-shirt. And I could have made something different, but I thought actually... I really like that dress and I thought I could really see myself wearing the t-shirt as well um, but again I haven't ended up wearing it that much so I thought I'm gonna get it out today and it's just so comfy and it was perfect for kind of slightly humid weather that we had today yeah a little bit warm and nice and loose and relaxed and just a really comfy one and I'm wearing it with um, a pair of shorts and I'll stand up a bit so you can see them So I don't know whether you recognise the shorts, they're a really nice pattern actually. Um, this one here, the Flint Shorts and Trousers pattern by Megan Nielsen Patterns. Um, so I'll show you the line drawings here. They're for sort of a pair of shorts or trousers. They're fitted around your natural waist and then they sort of flare out into quite a wide leg. And it's got an interesting closure. You kind of, it's kind of got like a, maybe I'll try and show you a little bit. Um, Oh God, so how do they describe it? So they've got a unique cross crossover closure at the side seam and you can either finish the closure with a little bow that you tie or some buttons. And I've gone for the bow version. There's also a button on the inside that kind of keeps it secure as well as the bow. And then they've got what they describe as release tucks at the front to give it a really pretty shape and then darts at the back. Um, and I just find the thin shorts fit really nicely with those darts and it just, they really sort of feel like they hug sort of my lower back area really nicely and sort of seemed to fit really well there 
and they're a really enjoyable make um, and I made the pair I'm wearing today in a viscose linen fabric but I think from memory it had a higher linen content than viscose maybe something along the lines of 55% linen and 45% viscose so it's more of a kind of it's got more of a linen feel to it this fabric I think and I think that really suits the structure you need for the flint shorts what do they say for a fabric requirement it says light to medium weight fabrics will work equally well with different effects and I think personally for me I prefer the flint shorts in a slightly more to the medium weight side of the fabric just to give a bit of structure I did actually go on to make a second pair of flint shorts because I enjoyed making these ones so much in a viscose linen at a higher viscose content and I didn't feel like they sort of the shape of them was as nice um I felt they were almost it was almost too drapey and it didn't I didn't think it suited the pattern as well really but yeah this is just a plain black viscose linen and when I made these shorts I wore them quite a bit but I've kind of just got out of the habit of wearing them really for no particular reason so it actually was quite a kind of good chance for me to put them on today because I thought they'd go quite well with this t-shirt um I guess maybe often I would reach for like a top and a skirt but all, a lot of my skirts I kind of have prints on and I thought that'd be too much with this t-shirt another print um yeah and also I'm not sure about the kind of like oversized t-shirt with a short skirt I wasn't sure that would work so I thought a pair of shorts would be really nice and I thought the black would go well so I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like on. I had them on earlier just with my black sandals, which I thought went quite nicely too. And it's been a really comfy outfit, actually. Um, I'd really recommend the flint shorts. I've never made the trousers, but I think they look lovely too. But I think I mentioned earlier in this video, actually, that I'm still, I'm still not a total convert to wide leg trousers on me. I love them on other people. Um, but maybe one day I will make them because I'm definitely trying them out a bit more. Um, and again, the flint, the flint pattern has a really good size range. I've got the paper pattern which goes from a 0 to a 20 but there's also a curved version of this pattern which goes from a 14 up to a 30. I didn't mention actually the Solati has a more limited size range I think it only goes from a UK 6 up to a 20 so it's a slightly smaller size range on that one but yeah I've really enjoyed getting my flint shorts out today actually and it's been a really comfy outfit for hanging around the house playing a bit of um football and that sort of thing in the garden my son bouncing on the trampoline doing all those things at home that we end up entertaining ourselves with since we couldn't go out to the country park so yeah that's what i've been wearing today but i'll finish off here i'm not out tonight i'm quite looking forward to putting my feet up actually so i'll see you again tomorrow for thursday bye hello it's thursday here now and it is a very dark rainy afternoon here the weather's totally changed from yesterday and our car is booked in to head to the garage tomorrow morning, so I'll find out what's wrong with it then. But without the car, we spent quite a nice day, mostly at home. We baked some um, cupcakes, did a few crafty bits, and we also popped to a friend's house for a little bit this afternoon as well. And I took a bit of our footage of our walk there, so I'll pop that in after I've shared what I'm wearing today for my handmade wardrobe. So today, um, when I got up, I knew it was going to be a changeable day weather-wise. So I've got on quite a relaxed day dress and I'm wearing it with a pair of leggings because it has been a bit chillier today. And this dress is actually a hack of a top pattern. I hacked this pattern here, the Bowery Top by French Navy, which is a really nice woven top pattern. I do like French Navy patterns. Um, I've never actually made the Bowery Top as a top other than to make a non-wearable toile originally to check the sort of sizing. Um, I then went on to make two dresses where I basically cropped it off just above the um, dipped hem and added on a gathered skirt. So it's got the features of the top, like the kind of grown on sleeves with the cuffs, um, this nice neckline that's finished with bias binding. Um, I use the same fabric for the bias binding, so it's a bit hard to see. And it's got a button down back on the bodice. I'll just turn around so you can see the buttons, hopefully. And it's got quite a loose, relaxed fit to it with a gathered skirt. I'll put a picture up so you can see a bit more of what it looks like on. It was quite a nice, easy hack. And I've made two of these dresses. And I think I reached my other one more because the fabric often jumps out to me in my wardrobe from the other dress because it's quite a bright, um, it's a larger check fabric with pinks and blues and all sorts of colours in. And this one's a little bit more muted, I guess. Um, I made the second version in this um, gingham cotton fabric. Um, this one came from Minerva. It comes in quite a few different colourways. They're quite pretty, some quite summery colours as well. But I went for the dark navy, which I think almost looks black and white, actually. It looks quite monochromatic. So it's just a very sort of 
small check. So no pattern or check matching needed on this one because it's just too small for that. Um, and yeah, it's just one I haven't reached for a lot, I think, because it does, I just don't notice it in my wardrobe as much, really. No other reason, because it is really nice and comfy to wear. I had it in pockets, so it's quite practical too. Um, it's just a great day dress, really. I think this one works all year round as well, because I can layer it up with like a black top underneath in winter to make it a bit more of a pinafore dress. And then in summer, it's just great on its own. And for this current, quite um, dismal weather, it is nice with a pair of leggings. So yes, that's what I've been wearing today. Um, and it's a really lovely pattern, the Barry top. The only downside to it, I think, is it has a quite a limited size range. I know some French Navy patterns have been extended now, and I hadn't been aware, actually, that one of my favourites, the Free Celan t-shirt pattern, which is a jersey tee pattern, which I think I talked about earlier in Me Made May, I wasn't aware that has been extended now, so it's available in a much broader size way, which, which is great because it's such a fab pattern and free too. But I had a closer look, and I don't think the Barry top has been extended yet, so I think it, at the moment it only goes up to um, a bust of 41 and 3 quarter inches. But yes, anyway, it's been a nice, comfy dress to wear today for a day with the kids. Um, and I'll link this fabric down below because I think it is available still in quite a few colours. And I'll link the pattern down below as well. So yes, that is today. Um, I'll leave you with a bit of footage of our walk out this afternoon to a friend's house. And I'll be back again tomorrow for Friday. So yeah, see you again tomorrow. Fingers crossed the better weather. Bye. Friday now and it is the 31st of May. It's the final day of Me Made May. I don't know where this month's gone. It feels like it's gone by in a flash, um, but I've really, really enjoyed popping on every day and sharing what I've been wearing for my handmade wardrobe. So thank you so much if you followed me through May and watched any or all of my videos. I do really, really appreciate it. So yes, the final day today and today we've had a really nice day, me and my children. We went with my mum into Windsor, which is not too far from us, but I don't think we've ever taken my daughter there before. I know we took my son when he was very little, but it's really nice to go there. It was a bit of a chilly day, but we had a lovely time and I took a bit of footage while we were there of a bit of Windsor. So I thought i will put that in now and then I'll come back on and share with you what I've been wearing today for my handmade wardrobe. So I hope you enjoy the little small snippets from Windsor and I'll see you back here in a moment. and we had a really nice time. We really enjoyed having a stroll and a scoot along the path by the side of the River Thames and spotting all of the ducks and swans and geese. There were a lot of swans and also seeing some boats going past. And then we wandered up into the town and had a look at the castle and around the shops. And yeah, it's a really nice day, but we are all a bit tired now. And my children are just having a bit of a chill in the other room. So I thought it was a good moment to pop in here and share what I've been wearing today. And today for the final day of May, I thought it would be appropriate to choose one of my woven tops because I have said this month that is something I want to wear more, to try to use more this month, my woven tops and blouses, because they are an area of my wardrobe I don't reach for as much, but I do always really enjoy when I do get them out. And I wanted to kind of prove to myself this May that they worked as like a casual everyday garment and I should see them like that and reach them more often. So today I've got on a woven shirt and I'm wearing it with a pair of ready to wear jeans and I'll stand up a bit so you can see more of the details on this shirt. So you may well recognize the pattern because I think it's quite a distinctive one. It is this pattern here, the um, Calais shirt and shirt dress by Closet Core Patterns. And the version I'm wearing today is view A. So this one here 
it's got this band collar and the um, hidden placket as you can see the buttons sort of hiding under this extra layer on top um, and then it's got little sort of cuffs on the sleeves and added on the pocket and one of my favorite features of this top is the hem i think because it could describe it as a wide-faced hem and the fabric that i chose to make this shirt is a little bit sheer so i think that you can really see the lovely detail of the hem on it i'll stand a bit so you can see I just love that feature on this top. I think I did from memory lengthen my um, shirt a little bit from the original pattern pieces. And even then it does come up quite cropped. So it is quite a cropped garment and I quite like the length of it now. It just kind of comes a little bit over the top of my jeans. Um, yeah, if it had been a bit shorter, I think I might have felt a bit uncomfortable, like it was uncomfortably short on me. Um, but yeah, I made it in this lovely fabric. It is kind of an embroidered cotton fabric with some, um, they look like daisy flowers onto me. Hopefully you can see there. Um, it's a nice, um, it's got a bit of structure to it. So I think it was really nice to make into a shirt. Um, and I don't, I think cause it's white, I probably would never have used it for a full length dress. I think I'd have just been too worried about getting it dirty, but actually as a shirt, it works really well. And it feels like a bit of a classic shirt with a bit of a twist from the embroidery on it. Um, so yeah, it's really nice to get it out today. Actually, it's really comfy. Um, it's a nice relaxed fit, I find. Um, and yeah, I've enjoyed wearing it. Although I must say it has been chillier today than I was expecting. So I did spend most of the day with a cardigan over the top and then my cagoule over the top of that. Um, so yeah, um, I haven't actually, not many people have seen this actual garment today um, other than when I got back home and then was able to kind of warm up and take some layers off because it has been a bit of a chilly day. But I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like on. I think when I've made the Cali, I've always sized down. I made the size zero, which is a little bit smaller than my measurements, um, just because it is designed to be a bit oversized. And as you can see, the fit is still a bit oversized. Um, but not super oversized and I quite like that sort of fit on me um, and yeah the pop over placket was sorry not the pop over placket the hidden placket was fun to sew and actually I think I remember sewing this garment it might have been during the lockdown possibly when it was quite hard to get buttons and figure out what buttons would m match with different garments so I thought it was quite a good choice to make this one with the um, hidden placket and I used some buttons that don't quite match they're sort of a creamy colour and um, it's hard to see on the screen but they're not really like a white like the shirt but because they're hidden it doesn't really matter so I felt like it was quite thrifty to be able to use up those buttons for my stash and it worked quite well at the time but yeah um I've really enjoyed wearing this one actually and I think this month it really has encouraged me to think yes I'm gonna wear more waving tops and blouses because I could have easily reached for a t-shirt like a jersey t-shirt today but I was equally as comfortable in this and I just really enjoy it and I yeah especially love the hem detail um so yeah that is what I've been wearing today to conclude Me Made May. So I'll finish off here, but say another big thank you um, to all of you for having watched, liked, commented. I really, really appreciate it. I look forward to being back with another video again soon. I'm not sure quite what. I need to kind of have a moment to pause now from filming every day this month and have a plan for what's coming next. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you again for watching. I hope you've had a lovely May too. Thank you again and yes, yeah, see you soon. Bye.